Hello, hello all, the stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully well. I took the last week off, uh, kind of abruptly. Uh, well, I mean, like, after I streamed on Thursday. So I guess that's only four days. But still, I, uh, I didn't put any real videos up on the main channel. I'm sorry about that to the people who love watching them. Feeling a bit burned out, so I wanted to take some time to do that. And, like, like to take care of myself and stuff. But, I'm feeling better now. A lot more energy today, getting a lot of stuff done, so... Oh, it's nice to have more energy again. Oh, I totally forgot to say, for those who don't know me, I'm Black Cat. I am a Path of Exile streamer, survival RPG, dungeon crawler, etc. gamer. I do a variety of gaming as well as Path. A lot of Path, but yeah. Okay. So we are currently playing our Pyroclast Mind Build, which you can see with uh, exclamation mark build in chat. Or in the description of this video, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube. And if you enjoy this stream at any point, you can feel free to follow us and you will get to see every time we are live. Okay, so since we last were together, got a new pair of gloves here. Got some mind throwing speed on it by just pure luck. Uh, I don't know. I don't know even know how hinder on hit with spells is a thing. Uh, on gloves, but apparently it is, so I picked these gloves up because they just happen to be really good. Picked up a uh, picked up a new belt with increased flask effect. I uh, believe the boots are still the same as before. Yep, yeah, I did get action speed on them though now, which is nice. I have the same hat as the same helmet as before, but I got critical strike chance with spells. I now have two catalysts, Dorian's catalysts, and I think the yeah the rest of it's all the same. I think so. Finally automated my flasks, which is really nice. They're not ideal, but pretty good still. I don't think did I do anything else? My gems are more or less done now, which is nice. I don't have to really worry too, too much about uh, much else with them. I just have, like, a couple of things that are missing. Like, I have a spot for a portal gem right here that's just charged mine support right now because I'm leveling it. And I have an empty slot for something over here, which is sitting just as skeleton mages because I'm leveling it. And righteous fire for buffs. I have... Clarity on arrogance here, so that I have uh, I can have an extra uh, an extra aura, as well as get the benefits of of how do I open things in this game? Okay, there we go. <laughs> as well as get the benefits of brain. Why are you failing me? Here we go. The Reservation Master that gives you an extra 1% to all maximum element of resistances if you've reserved life. So, my Skitterbots, Precision, and Grace, and... Sorry. Reserve Mana, Skitterbots, Precision, and Grace, and then Life, which is Clarity. I'm pretty excited about that. I just hit 4,000 life uh, on Reserve, which is nice. I have a little bit less energy shield now that I swapped out my uh, Light of Lunaris, which was very good, but not as powerful as my Dorianus Catalyst. I'm trying to keep it so that one Ghost Shroud uh, is enough to fully regenerate my energy shield. So I'm trying to, trying to keep it up a little bit. I don't want to go below 450, because that's around how much uh, it's going to give me. I have 20,000... Evasion rating naturally right now. Oh, that means that's that's 600 energy shield per ghost shroud, so I actually need some more ES. 
so that I can make full use of my ghost shrads. I mean, the idea would be I have 1,200 so that I can take two, but... Eh, whatever. For those who aren't familiar, Ghost Shroud heals, gives you energy shield e equal to 3% of your evasion rating when you're hit. And if you haven't been hit for a while, it generates them again. Okay, so goals for today. We really need to get some more embers and ichors so that we can upgrade uh, our various pieces of gear, because we want to change out the Eater Implicit here, because we don't use Enduring Cry. Want to change out the Eater Implicit here, maybe this, the, the X-Arch Implicit too. And I want to change out the... I want to just add Eater Implicit here, so we need a lot of Ichor, ideally. As well as money, because we want to keep working on upgrading our shit. And we're going to want to eventually get, like, our Divinarius and so on. Now I remember what I was thinking of t earlier. Okay, so uh, with the, the Gray Skitter bot and Precision set up here, this is supposed to be Enlighten. That's that's what's supposed to go up there. And this is supposed to be Portal. But I'm probably not going to use the Portal gem, so... Who knows? Because I do like the Portal Scrolls, and having the hotkey is really nice. Because it's instant, unlike the Portal gem, which is not. Hi, Swift. How you doing today? Okay, we are going to head over and clear out our heist contracts. And we can do some mapping. That is fair. Well, don't worry. You can watch me. <laughs> I've been told I'm very entertaining for... One reason or another. Wow. I can see when my uh, computer starts to struggle with, like, streaming, recording, and playing all at once. And the only real times it does struggle are just now when I went through town. Like, I can take tons of explosions on screen and a bunch of enemies, but as soon as we have the microtransactions to people in town, nope. Like, all of this, this is fine. Like, like my computer is not even beginning to be unhappy with any of the stuff I'm doing here. Which just kind of shows how badly they fucked up the past couple leagues with microtransactions, and how badly they're continuing to fuck up with microtransactions. I would really like them to add a thing where you do not, where you can turn off other people's microtransactions in towns, because I don't want to see other people's microtransactions. I don't care. Like, yeah, you spent money. Congratulations. That doesn't matter. Hey, food is good at any time of the day. I mean, I oftentimes, like, after streams, around, like, 11 or 12 is when I'm... Uh, is when I'm making dinner, usually, so... So it kind of depends on my schedule. Usually I'm having a meal after streaming. Okay. Tags. Why is there so much blood on the floor? I'm killing robots. <laughs> what is wrong with these robots? Oh my gosh, was that a pug howl? You know, you need to behave if you're going to be in here. You're very cute, but... But we are, we're doing some serious Path of Exile business here.
I want to make these things here. These, uh, these robots with the, uh, giant balls. Uh, giant balls of, like, energy into specters. They, they would be so much fun. The robots with the giant balls! I'm just imagining, like, truck balls hanging off, like, an automaton. But, like, ones that are oddly and uncomfortably fleshy looking. I mean, what purpose do they have if they aren't making people uncomfortable? I mean, is there really any other purpose to truck balls besides making people uncomfortable? I can't imagine who thinks that to seize truck balls for sale and is like, wow, I could use that and it'd make me so cool. No. Like, what What goes through someone's head that, that encourages them to put truck balls on their truck? I just, I can't, can't imagine it. Okay, do we have anything interest no, not that. Um oh this is a Legion. Legion chest, I can pick that up. Ow. Thank you, better. There's no point in me opening the uh, jewelry chest, so I'm just going to open small ones. Since these have chances for, like, currency and so on. Okay, I should be able to hit this one, this one, and here. Oh, to continue on what I was saying before about, like, not putting up some uh, videos for, like, the past week. Sorry about that. I am definitely going to be putting up videos very soon. There won't be one coming up today, but I do intend to keep putting up videos. I ideally would like to put up five a week. That is what I usually shoot for. I don't always succeed at that, but I try. I just needed a bit of time off because I was working I was working myself a bit too hard between content creation and multiple other things I'm trying to do in my life right now. I'm the type of person who just fills her life with as many pro projects as she can manage. Basically. I just I just I see something I want to work on, I want to work on it immediately. Especially if something is, like, actually bothering me. Like, I'm trying to do some house renovations and stuff in addition to... Uh... In addition to, uh, work-related stuff, and in addition to content-related stuff. And then, you know, like, having a life beyond that. Because life isn't just supposed to be work thing that I need to remind myself of occasionally. Mm -hmm. Strength, life, crit multi. On a strength dex base. That's not bad. 
That's a few C. Now to leave town, the leggiest part of this game. Lena, can you go open that while I deal with all of this? Damn effigy. Okay, what do I have? Currency and essence? Is that an essence? I think it's essence. Yeah, I think it's essence. Okay, so I only need enough for one one chest then. I feel like that ground slam is new. Or maybe I'm just used to steamrolling him, so I never get to see what he actually does. Okay, rest of small chests. And hopefully no... alarm turrets anywhere. That will just blow my cover when I'm not expecting. Would be unfortunate. Arvale's wedding dress. Huh. That's a strange thing to pick up. Why am I looking for Morvale's wedding dress for Talina? I mean, I don't know when Mervale died initially, but like... I, I assume she's dead. And that she came back to life like most things in this game. Or maybe she just lived as a squid monster for a really, really long time. Uh, oops. My brain went elsewhere for like a split second, and it was just long enough for there to be a problem. <laughs> Booty deception. Deception is the most lucrative. No, we don't. Oh, we have a priceless perception, though. We can run that one. Uh, who's going to be the highest perception? Karst is the lockpick, so... Perception one is highest. I guess Nanette's going to be the highest in perception? Sounds like a good time. I don't know, my brain couldn't come up with anything better than that. I hate waiting for food. That's why I microwave things more than I use the oven. That's definitely why I microwave things more than I use the oven. <laughs> Oh. Alright, let's get away from those. Oh, I have to go through the alarm area twice. Rough.
No, 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 let me through. That's fair. Okay. Safe. Finding. Okay. And that's like, there was a door here at some point. And I'm like, yeah, we walked through it. Or maybe that, that's not what perception is. Maybe perception is just like unlocking the invisible door. I don't know. Oh no. The voiding has begun. This is why you don't play voiding map voided maps. Cause then you can die. You can die a true death. Vampire stake to the heart wise. That's a lot of people. Trying desperately not to get wiped out just because I walked through a door. Oh, wrong way. I miss being able to use Mark on hit. That was... Uh, I like Mark on hit so much. You can't use it for spells. Or for mines. Hi, on. How are you today? All right, 2,500 tokens for that. That's pretty good. Okay. We've done enough, though, for now. We are going to move forwards with mapping, because we need to keep pushing our levels so we can get to uh, Ikors. Also, we got our first Malcoon of the League, so that's probably worth doing. That one first. We do actually already have uh, Eater of World influence, so. Shouldn't be too hard to get more Ikors. I don't feel like I've gotten them from just dropping in eater maps, though. I think I've gotten the ones I've gotten either from buying them or from like chests or something that give that sort of thing. Fifty-three percent. Here's how much XP I get from a tier six. Is it sixty-three percent increased XP? No. It's nice it's just, just so hard to pick things up, even though that they're at, like, the maximum size they can be at for items. Thank you. 
going to leave a little bit of darkness on the map up there, because I know that there's nothing there right now. But I'll use it to help me figure out where to go when I'm looking for the ghosts. There's always, like, that one ghost that you forget where the heck it is. There, okay. Now I can go talk to Bear Graves. Zoom. Hello, friend. Oh, right. He doesn't spawn things immediately. That's at the end. I've done this map before. Ooh, Divine Vessel. Those are, I think, 3 or 4C right now. I need more. It always makes it hard to wait. I keep wanting to make meatloaf. I should actually, like, do it. Hey, Ron. How you doing today? Yeah, I keep shirking away from making the more complicated things, because I'm just... Like, well, I'm tired. I could just have something different. But I, I want... I want. <laughs> I am doing good. I'm enjoying Path a lot this league. Gonna die? There we go. Ah. That was a lot all of a sudden. Yeah, this is like the type of place where I've been getting my Icarus from. Oh, yeah. Bad time to do that. That was just my clarity. Okay. I just got fizz to cold, which is not useful. I don't think. You know, I'm pure fire. I was playing Explosive Trap, I could use it, but no. Oh well, it does make the gloves potentially more valuable, so. Mm, chaos. Up to 70 chaos from this map. Pretty good. Almost done. Or I should almost be done. There was another booty chest over here. I wish 
Fair Graves died when he died. That's when he stops attacking. <laughs> okay, here's the last area. Yay, first map coon of the season. There might be one or two other packs up here. Yeah. I left most of the middle untouched. Okay. Anything else? No, I think we're done. Oh. Talk too soon. Are we done? There we go. Let me get chaos off that. I bought that from Kirak, I think for six chaos, so that's pretty good. They got us at least 10% of a level. It's pretty good at level 86. Okay, so we're going to want to get Rusloth eventually. I did actually get the uh, two of the pieces I needed for Brian King. I'm going to want Sumter the Twisted, and I'm going to want Murgeth Bog Bogsong. Yeah, there's Murgeth, that's Stagnation. Wait, what am I doing? There's an easy way to do this. Right? No, nope, that doesn't work that way. Solaris. Holly. Alma. Oh, okay, that's... yeah. Neris. Yeah, I think usually the one at the bottom is like the highest level one. So it's also the least useful one to me. We have a stagnation map. Nope. Oh, baby. What's going on? I'm gonna have to wait, yeah. Okay, what do you have from me, Kirak? The only one here I don't have here is Crystal Ore. I should pick that one up. And... Stagnation? Well, I'll see if I can get a stagnation map somehow. For a second I was like, why didn't I get to, to choose my lantern? And then I realized that it's because it's a Kirak map. Feels like a problem, the fact that Kirak blocks, like, most League everything. There we go. I wonder what we're going to get. Give me some divine orbs, that'd be really nice. 
Not that I've been struggling for currency or anything so far. We're doing okay. Oh, I checked Polaric Devastation. Oh, Enlighten! I need that! Yeah! Okay, that's awesome. How much is this worth? Oh my god, it's two div. Oh my gosh, that's an extremely expensive drop. <laughs> nice, okay. I'm gonna plop that up there. And then when it eventually gets enough XP, it will do something. Anything else I don't care about as much? Hmm. Can I sell this as is? Maybe. My try to sell that as is dead, so I, cause I don't have a spot to level it anymore. Well, that's awesome. That was one of the things I needed for my build. <laughs> it's so rare that you pick up something that actually benefits your build in this game. In the later game. It's just not something this game is meant for. Mainly because you need, like, some really s very specific things sometimes, and since you can't choose what you craft, really, like, ever all crafting is basically random, you can't actually, like, pick up things that are decent and then make them better. You just have to basically find someone who's gotten the random drop that is good for you. Which is honestly a kind of, like, frustrating way to design things. I think it used to be that you would be able to pick up stuff and, like, actually use it, but that was never the way it... It's never been that ta that in any of the time I've played, so I wouldn't know. Okay, I got both the remnants. That one. Immune to lightning. There we go. There is a, uh, Atlas passive that makes it so that the monsters spawn with a chunk of their health missing, and honestly, kind of interested in getting that if I'm going to do Expedition more regularly. Doom! I hope it is. Right, my mic is in the exact wrong spot for me to be able to see with the timer for the Legion. It's covering exactly that that spot of the screen. I wonder if I should do Ritual as, like, something that this character is good for or not. It's not, like, sp like, specifically good for Ritual. Like, it's specifically good for Expedition because it hits a lot, rather than, like, a lot of small hits rather than one big hit. Which is better when you have a ton of things that, uh, when you have things worn specifically. This board is kind of a mess if you only have, like, single large hits. I think I unlocked, like, seven rares in a, in t in a bunch up there, and I'm kind of worried. Hmm. 
One, two, those are down. Three, four, five, yeah, there's five of them. Thankfully, this is only a tier six. Or I would be more concerned. Tier five. So I haven't gotten any yellow Kirak missions yet for some reason. I've definitely done a few yellow maps. I guess I just haven't done enough. Oh... That's probably the worst thing you could get for a synthesis belt. <laughs> Damage reflection implicit. Ugh. That's painful. Oh, that's 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 a worthy reroll. Hmm. Well, currency shards could be valuable, as the name says, but they also might not be. I don't know. Uh, I'll take that for now. Let's see what happens when we do our fourth ritual. How much we get from that. That'll tell us how much we have to work with total. I'm going to pick the chaos first no matter what, so I might as well pick that up. Let's not explode, please. I like being unexploded. Okay, thanks. Oh, this is so satisfying. This is actually probably one of the reasons why Ritual might be decent, but Breach would not be decent for this character. Because Breach requires a lot more movement, and this requires me to be standing in place. Versus, like, a totem build where you can place down a totem and keep moving, and then place down another totem, but your totems continue to attack. Take the Vol Orb. The Bird Vol Orb. So a single Vol Orb is hardly worth paying too much attention to. Oh my gosh, my first Divine! No! <laughs> Yay, first Divine of the League! That makes me happy. A card chart. Always good. Uh, they're sitting at 235 right now, so that is that is a big deal. I think? Are they not sitting at 235? I thought they were pretty high. They're at 145. Oh. Oh, I thought they were higher. Still, it's 145. That's nothing to. That's a that's a big enough deal. Do I need this gateway for anything? Hmm. I don't think I need the gateway. Earth's treasures. Have a good meal. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go north, unless I want to pick Ancient Decay. Actually, I should be going for Pact of Energy. That would be much better for me.
silica, graveyard. Yeah, valuable currency. Probably not gonna replace. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to replace this, these gloves anytime soon, so. Incubate there. Fit. Hmm. But I hold maybe I shouldn't be using these to find to like do maps I haven't done when I should probably be using them for money instead. Because I can get the stacks of divination cards, which are probably more valuable. Because I can always get more maps. That was a really, really good uh map that we just did, though, that we got, I mean, the, uh, the Enlighten was worth two div, and we got a div, so we got about three div out of that map. Which is extremely good. I'll check this part of the league. Hmm, nope. Very rarely reason to. I don't think that's valuable. It's digital. Oop. Odd in the slightest. Oh boy. So exciting. What do we get? Life per hit with attacks. Those are completely incompatible. <laughs> oh, well. We have some div cards, actually, we haven't done. Well, let's see if we get anything interesting out of uh, the gambler. Uh-oh. I believe it's Grace for Queen of the Forest. I think this is actually worth a couple of C. Usually is. Uh, not really. Okay. Oh well. Oh, I need to be doing Society's Remorse, actually, because I need to be using my alterations to re-roll my Jade Flask, which still sucks, because I don't need... I don't want these modifiers. I really want to have the flask charge on critical hit modifiers if I can manage it. I'm glad you're having good food. I'm sure you did a great job. Sharesies. <laughs> oh, there's a flask charge on crit. Oh, I'm going to keep re-rolling to try to get a better one. Maybe it was a mistake to give that one up. Oh, I got one. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm going to stick with this one for now. At least I'm going to be getting flash charges on some of my hits. Most of... I think a lot of my hits are crits to begin with, so... Yeah, one in four of my hits are going to be crits. And I have four hits per mine, and I throw five mines at a time, so... I'm going to do get about five crits uh, per throw. So this will give me about, on average per throw, I'll be getting one flask charge. Which isn't that bad. Not amazing, I want to get a bit more than that, but for now it's good. Oh, okay, these are tier nines. They're not stagnation, but they are tier nines. What do I need for tier nine? I need Academy, Stagnation, Tropical Island.
Wait. Oh, yeah. No, I wanted to buy the extra glacier because it's good. Have glacier. Uh, no. I'm not having reduced reduced maximum resistances, spell suppression, and steel charges on the same thing. Those are all. Those all suck on their own for this build. Yeah, let's do our first nine. Ooh. Modifier tier. Hmm. Something like that, maybe. Oh, I forgot. I can actually still sell my um my currency uh currency all flames. That's what they're called. All flames. All flame embers? Those things. Doom. Hey, since we have temporal chains, my uh all my buffs are lasting longer. That's actually pretty nice. Nice little side effect. Oh. Oh, who are you, and why do you hate me? The eater stuff is spawned. Let's try to clear it out as best we can and get a lot of eater stuff. Boss room. Nope. Nope. Okay. Got a bit dicey, but we're okay. I know sometimes my flasks just don't respond to me. Specifically my life flask. I've been wondering if it's my mouse button or what, because I've had this exact same issue in uh, Last Epoch. I hope my mouse buttons aren't wearing out. Or my alternate mouse buttons. Oh, self fight. You could really juice things to get lots of sulfite in this league, that's for sure. Alright, okay, so we can go around over here. Access this section. Wait, no, there's a door there. That. Here we go. Okay, first altar. Uh, duplicate, uh, duplicate basic currency or div cards that drop currency. I want the div cards that drop currency because div uh, divine orbs are basic currency, and that means that you can drop things like divine beauty and um, what's it uh, what's it called? Brother's gift or something? The one that's or gift of the brotherhood. Uh, the one that that's like a single div card that goes five div, five divine orbs. Oh, Einhar's been here apparently, and I just never knew. See, it's all all of his beasts have been in one spot. Uh, uh, no, no thanks. All right, take your beast with you. Thank you. Did I get it? Oh, it's still alive. Wow, thank you. There's a red beast. Ooh, lots of six sockets. I don't really have that many jewelers, so it's a good, good time. Uh, 
chance to drop divination cards that reward level gems. Now I think quantum and rarity are probably better. A lot of those div cards that give you level gems aren't worth anything. Like the skeleton one isn't really worth like the vol skeleton one isn't really worth much and the generic ball one isn't really worth much. Oh my gosh. Lots of things. Oh, that is a big necromancer. No. No. Not so later. No. Butthead. Okay, he's dead. Grabbed ultimatum. Sure. I'll go grab that. Ultimatums were worth a lot last league. I wonder... Or the inscribed ones were. I wonder what they're like this league. Doubling orbs of fusing. Uh oh, they are not worth nearly as much this league. Holy shit, yeah, no, they're like 1C at most. Last league, they're, I swear, they were like 100C each. How much is 20 fusings to begin with? Only a couple C. That's not going to be very much. Okay, let's do lookout. I want to do like a bunch of tier nines, so hopefully stagnation will drop. Oh, sucks. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't want to do Maven stuff. I don't like the Maven stuff. Are these slow? The zombies are slow. So I can give them frenzy charges. These can be kind of fast. So I'll just give them extra defenses, that's fine. We're going to 87 soon. Look forward to it. I want to be soon what I would consider to be full built. I want to be able to like properly demonstrate what this build looks like when it's fully done. Not to the, ma to the Uber extent, just to the advanced extent. I will get to Uber eventually, but I'm not going to push that because that takes time. It's hard to push to, like, get, like, an extra 30 divine or something. So I'd rather just wait and let that kind of happen organically. Let me phrase it. If I had more money, 
it would be easier to get more money. That's generally how things like playing the market work. The more money you have to use, the more money you can make. Because people often are not able to make use of the things that could make them money because they don't have enough liquidity. Or they don't have enough liquid currency. The more money you have, the more likely you'll be able to make use of the, th the liquid currency benefits. EX divine, re-divine beauty, for example. 87. I wonder if I could put focus on my left click or not, if that's a thing. Or if I could automate it somehow. I don't know if that's possible. Because I just noticed the, uh, bell, wherever it is. Oh, those are not what I'm looking for. It's the belt. There's the belt. The, your critical strikes are lucky when focused. I wonder if I can put that on my like, left click and then get the belt to then get... Yeah, put focus on my left click and then get something like that on the belt. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, what do I want to get? I still don't have the exposure, so there's no point working with Snowforged. Getting my mastery there. I could go for the Blind Mastery. That actually probably would be for the best right now. Be a bit of extra damage. Thing is, everything near me is blinded, and everything I hit is blinded, and everything I talk about is blinded. <laughs> Oh, you're a beast, that's why you're not going down quickly. This isn't Belfry, is it? Let's look out. Okay. No Katava. Just Plague Wing. I don't mind Plague Wing. I just don't like Katava. He's got annoying. With like a lot of faces. Though Plague Wing is a Herald of Katava, which kind of sucks. You can go away now. Hmm. Unfortunately, adding minimum frenzy charges to things is not a surefire way to make it worth something. If the rest of the piece of gear is not good. I could get minimum frenzy charges on this build, but I don't think that would help me, seeing as I maintain them very well, and that there's anti-synergy with uh, Rot Gut, because it eats charges. And it can't eat minimum charges. Only natural charges. So charges you've gained, not charges that are minimum. Because you can't go below your minimum, so you can't eat that charge. Just eating that charge will require you to go below your minimum. There you are.
And attack with energy. Now I get a bunch of bonuses when I hit it. When I hit uh, sulfite nodes. Hmm. I hate frozen cabins, but let's just do it and get it over with. And then we can get our invitation and go forward from there. Wow, this just really sucks. Like, all of this sucks. Just all of this sucks. <laughs> Whatever. I'll run through it quickly. Maybe I shouldn't just be standing there letting the rares hit me. Maybe that's a bad plan. Why do they add Windows air noises into into a song that is that's evil? People are gonna think it's their computer. I assure you it is not. Ah, much going on. So much going on. I need like one of you to die. Okay, there's the assassins at least. I think that's more or less all of the rare legion mod mobs. Yeah. Okay, good because they suck. Incubators. Oh, I got some chests. Nice. Nope, I'm still doing that one. Greatly increased experience. It's not bad. That on an increased pack size mod. Oh, repentance. Roll high armor. That is the minimum, almost the minimum armor you can roll. I got four out of one of a range of 400 to 500. <laughs> wow, okay. Either that or I want 12% strength, which is the more important thing. Which I also did not get. <laughs> oh well. For, for things to be good, there have to be ones that are bad. This means next time I'm more likely to get something better. Why don't you give me an acceleration shrine? That would be nice. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of shrines. Oh, there's an acceleration shrine. Nice. Exactly what I was looking for. Uh, maybe not this time, though. Almost at the end? No, one more. One more lock, I think. Scarab of Hordes. Hmm. I like the new Scarabs. They seem cool. I don't know much about them. They seem cool.
Denarius is whatever the heck that thing's called. Doom. Can you give me some more flash charges? I like more flash charges. No charge? Your charge. Doom. Uh, okay, I need to... I'll zoom in here. Zoom. Ew, mana ring. Ah. Uh -huh. I was excited for a second because I needed a reef before, but I already have what I need to get out of that, so that doesn't matter now. I need it for my Pantheon initially, but I got it now, so it doesn't matter. Oh, nope, not that way. I should probably focus on whenever I have my rock gut up to not be killing things because I'm not getting charges. Okay, it's a bit dicey. Oh yes, thank you for putting up the ice wall. That was nice. <laughs> I love it when monsters block themselves and their pals by being wallers. Okay, waller is a Diablo 3 term, but like... I'm sure the meaning isn't lost. All right, and now we do the crucible. That won't take long. I gotta watch out for the marionette. Oh, and it's the Brian King. Okay, he's not that dangerous when he's not in his arena because. The thing that makes him dangerous is the fact that you have a very small arena and he's very large. But when you have a large arena, it kind of... kind of decreases his ability. Did I pick more Nico stuff? I could go for Guarded Hordes, which would mean that... I have more stuff in my mounts. I can get more delve chance. You know, I think I'll go that way. Then I can skip these two points and go straight up over to pillage and plunder and test loyalty. That uh, is bad. That one is bad. So... Stagnation I needed. Now, there's actually a really, really nice tool that exists for Path of Exile that I use a fair bit at the start of the league. 
go find it. POE map dot trade. It is exactly. It is spelled exactly how you would imagine. Here, I'll put it placed in chat. Uh, it allows you to trade the maps that you have for just maps that other people have, rather than paying any money for them. So if someone needs something, you can say like, "Hey, I I need this one, this one, that one, and I have this one, this one, that one," and people will offer you stuff in exchange for stuff that they need. So I need. Uh, Currently need Stagnation Tropical Island. And I have uh, Academy and Glacier. Anyone who wants to trade. Oops, did I do that in the opposite? Okay, yep. And this is a response from the website. I get stagnation off them and they get academy, which is what they need. A nice way to be able to quickly get the things that you need while not spending any money. And it helps other people because they get what they need too. Okay, so Divine Vessel. Did I throw a Scarab on here? No, I'll have time for Scarabs later. Lots of time. Okay. Hmm. Wait, I wonder. If I take the XP thing and I put it on here, and then I take the Untainted Apes thing and I put that on here, so these have greatly increased XP and then greatly increased XP again. That might actually be crazy. Okay, well, let's see how that goes. Uh, what should I put on what? What's most dangerous? Give monster level to them. No, I don't want to put anything dangerous on goats. Goats suck to begin with. Okay, so we're going to have lots of monkeys to blow up for XP. Okay, we're 25% of the way to 88. Let's see how this goes. I hope the XP bonuses compound, I really do. Otherwise it'd be kinda sad. That's kind of the point. I would imagine that they do. Oh I see monkeys. Oh. The lag, but we're okay. Come back. Is that a Dark Seer? Pretty sure Dark Seer has gone up in value. If that's Dark Seer, that'd be really good. Come back and get the Syndicate stuff when I'm done with the Delirium. Hence why I'm not actually doing anything with them. Also, that was a all flame that awards Chiula stuff. That's nice. Oh, oh! Oh, 
Someone's being nasty. Okay, that's enough going on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a divine shrine. Okay, yeah, no, I'm invulnerable now. Love divine shrines. Never mind, I'm completely safe in every way. Do 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 Oh, divine and diamond shrines. You shouldn't have. Might as well do the boss one here. This one doesn't tend to be too dangerous, though. Fifteen seconds. If I thought of it ahead of time, I probably should have done the Abyss, because the Abyss tend to be more dangerous with their rares, but... That's fine. Okay, let's go back. To actually get my Syndicate stuff. Before I forget about it. This is very likely to happen. Station or become the leader. Okay, it's not a problem. No, I don't want you to get any more research experience or any more experience. Ah! I thought that was a leaving portal, not a coming in to assassinate me portal. Ah, what's going on? Oh, it's one mage zombies. Rude. This, this feels like it's about to be some serious self cest <laughs> I've never seen two Junes spawn exactly like this so close to each other before. This is, uh, I feel like this is just fan fiction in the making. Someone's definitely written about this. Okay, well. Oh, actually, I should probably trade with them. Okay, Junes. I would like one of you to unveil my stuff. Unveil my giant hammer. Hmm. That's not the worst. Forty five percent lightning, twenty percent chaos, hundred percent concentrated power of will. <laughs> no, um hmm. that may be worth selling. We'll see. That is not. Oh, I got a wand cluster. So this is the Dark Seer? Oh, it's a Death Hand, okay. I was wondering, because, like, Dark Seer is worth a lot of money these days. Now that they changed it so that it has plus two to all spell gems on it, which is truly obscene modifier. Three chance of elemental modifiers. Nom 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 corpse. So I've actually looked into it a bit more now. And I am aware that the gr the Necropolis crafting is not just complete shit. Apparently, 
there's a lot more to it than I realized. Because I've seen certain... I've seen people go through Craft of Exile and get... Uh, basically get an entire setup for how they're going to do their Necropolis. And I expected people to use, like... I thought it was, like, overkill using, like, 25 corpses at once. No, people use the entire necropolis at once, so that's over, that's over 50 corpses to just make one item. Which seems obscene to me, and ridiculous. How the fuck are you going to get all those corpses that are the ones that you want? It seems like a system that requires a whole lot of input for... I don't know, not very much. But see, it sounds like you might actually be able to make, like, a fairly, um, like, a particular thing actually fairly easily if you put enough corpses into it. You just have to invest a lot into it. Oh, God. No. Stop that. No more screaming. Yeah, apparently, if you have enough corpses, you can do just about anything. It's a good rule of thumb for life. Things, things that boomers don't want you to know. <laughs> like one of those trashy advertisements. Today I learned that the key to success is to have a hundred corpses in your backyard. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. It's a joke. I don't want to be responsible for people doing weird shit. <laughs> because I have bizarre senses of humor. All four of them. Yum. I'm gonna make sure I get the entire map because of the uh, boosted monkeys. Okay, that's yeah, that's that's close enough to everything. Okay, so we got 21% of the level from this map. That's pretty darn good considering that we're 87 going for 88. And that was only a tier 9. Also, my absolute favorite thing about this league that I fucking love. Right click. And now, it's in my pantheon. I don't have to fucking, I don't have to go find Sin wherever the fuck he is. I don't need to, to teleport to whatever act he's in and then give it to him and then go back to whatever town I want to be spawning in correctly from that town and then come back to my hideout. No, fuck all that. Right click on the Divine Vessel. It works perfectly. That was a good change. Thank you, GGG. That's not bad. It's good for a hybrid build with some Ignite protection. Okay. Being told it's about 20C. I don't know if I believe that, but I can always try it. See what happens. I assume one damage is not worth anything. No, not really, though it seems like it might actually be worth 2C instead of 1, which kind of surprises me. I think it's because of the Sacred Wisps thing that allows you to, like the new uh, Sport Gem that allows you to have Wisps that attack with your, like, wand attacks that you use. I assume that that's why that's not just 1C or less. Okay, and this belt is probably 9C. There we go. Ooh, off damage Ayula is not valuable. Okay, well, whatever, I'll use it then. Okay, 
right, what do we have? Ooh, 107 quant. I don't really like doing light. If I had a build that was more conducive to blight, I would probably like it, but I don't. So I don't. If I was really doing, like, arc, that would be a different story. Expedition, be good to do an expedition, but a toll has very thin areas, generally, so the expedition is more likely to get cut off a lot. That would kind of hamper most expedition. Yeah, you know, I'll do Volcano. Actually, are there any of these I don't have? I'll do Fungal Hollow. Okay, well, I don't have that yet. Better than all the other options. Tropical Island, 9. I don't have that one. Oh, no Tropical Island. Uh, Essence Map. How much are essence maps? Apparently it's 9C for an essence map. Interesting. I don't have a courthouse. Well, I have a courthouse map. Yes, okay, I don't need to buy that then. It's not even worth something. Players have negative 7 to all maximum resistances. That's awful. That's a new modifier, because usually it's like negative to all element maximum elemental resistances, rather than players have negative set X to all maximum resistances. That's even harder than before, because that takes down your chaos res too. Though most people are nowhere near their chaos res cap, so it doesn't really matter, but still kind of mean. Oh, hello. Exile. Exiles. As Grefs would say. Zoom. Oh, expedition. Nice. I kind of I kinda of do want to actually back into Expedition for once, because I've never done it. And this is, so far, the best build I've had for Expedition. Being that it hits, it does a lot of damage, and it does it in a lot of small hits, which is perfect to fight against Ward with. Okay, where do I want to go? Can't do all of those, can I? Okay, so I can do that one. Grab that. That. And that. Over here and not hit the remnant that gives it fire immunity because that would suck because I only do fire damage. I'm actually incredibly familiar with what the expedition mobs do, admittedly. Like, I don't know their abilities, which feels weird, because usually I know the abilities of most creatures I meet. I cannot believe I jumped that gap. That seemed a bit too large to jump. Oh yeah, I fit perfectly with Harbingers. Because I can cover their entire circles.
What is this? No, we're gonna swap. There we go. Nom nom nom, more points. I love the fact that pyroclast mines are actually seeking. Like it's it's hard to really tell that, but they do actually seek out things to some extent. Which is why they're as good as they are. Because like it looks like they're random, but they're not random. They actually seek out specific things. And the way the speed that they calculate the things they're seeking is way faster than your brain will work. I can process most of what's happening on the screen at any given time, just through thousands of hours of practice, and I still can't process everything they're attacking. Because that's ridiculous. No explosions. Hair blade. Nice. So I should probably go for canyon instead. Oh, it's dip cards. Being fun. Blight encounter. Is blight. Blight encounter is worth anything. As a. As an enchantment. No, they're not. I, I don't I don't think I need park. By promenade and shore. I think I have promenade and shore already. I have shore and promenade. What was the last one? Oh yeah, I have park done already. Actually it's cheap, so I'm gonna pick up park because park is a good map. Good layout, easy to destroy things. And immediately. We have the dip cards. But we have an acceleration shrine too. We're gonna go till we run out of acceleration shrine. I'm not giving up on acceleration shrine. Even though it doesn't like really affect my build much, it does make me really fast. So I get to run over. Knock out the boss. I didn't give it a time to use pin down. That bird terrifies me, the boss for Canyon. There's nothing worse than a ranged enemy that can lock you in place. In a game where you can't cleanse. Like, you can't remove negative debuffs like that. Like, that specific one. Because it almost never appears. It's just this boss and... Anything that uses bear trap and nothing else.
Only exiles can use Bear Trap. And most of them do not use it. And it's a poison on hit. That's a thing. That's a thing I can do, I guess. I guess that's a... I guess that's a thing. I don't know what else to say. Alright, check that. Okay. Okay, what are we working on? If we do a tier 9, can we... Are we still getting progress on... Nope. I need 10 for Maven... And probably at least 10 for Eater. Yep. So next question. Do I have... Yes, I do have Horizons. Maybe I can do Pit then. I don't like Pit, but I will do it. Oh good, Temp Chains. It'll give me extra... Extra buff. Hmm. Those can already poison, so giving them poison doesn't hurt. Swap those. Those are not much health, so regen's not going to be too big a deal. Dropped weapons are converted to chaos orbs. Hmm. I do have... Are these still valuable? Yes, these are still valuable. Okay, the... Rogue Exile ones. I'm gonna try this because Rogue Exiles are guaranteed to have a weapon. So, this should work quite well. Okay, well, I'll go with this and see what happens. Uh, I hate these. I didn't recognize which mob they were. Until they started throwing uh, Rolling Magma. The Rolling Magma ones are really bad, especially if you get, like, the plus four to projectile ones. Because then a pack of, let's say, ten of them, each throwing five projectiles per throw, is just disgusting. <laughs> the, like, no joke, hundreds of projectiles are on the screen in no time. Okay. Nothing that wants to nibble my toes. Good. Exile scarabs. Okay. Nick Bordries. No. I'll take Calgarian currency. Also. Ooh. Minion elemental resistance, minion max life, minion movement speed. And usually those builds take Zealot's Oath, so the life regen will turn into energy shield regen, which is good. Oh, just a bone ring with veiled on it is actually valuable on its own. Interesting. It is less valuable. <laughs> it is less valuable if you take the modifiers into account, apparently. Oh, it's an Elrion's Veiled! Okay, that's why it's so valuable. Okay, Ooh, fuck yeah, I want that. Yeah. Oh, it's the Channeling one. Damn it! <laughs> I was hoping that wasn't the one it would be. I was hoping it would be the non Channeling one. That has no synergy, unfortunately, with the rest of it, I don't think. Unless you're doing, like, SRS on Cyclone, maybe? 
but that's doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> I could get life, mana, life, regen, mana, regen, and life on this. Or I could just get a whole fuck ton of life regen. The mana is useless. I'll get the mana, because that's the highest roll you can get for mana, I think. On, yeah. Max roll tier 1 chosen. Okay, well, those might sell. We'll see. Okay, Bone Ring with channeling skills, movement speed, and max life. Okay, they basically don't exist, which probably means that they're not viable. There's an Exile. Yes! Oh my gosh, it did exactly what I was hoping it would do. Because it dropped six weapons, they turned into six Chaos Orbs. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Okay, I'm glad that it, it's working the way I thought it would. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, it's another exile. <laughs> another four chaos orbs. Yeah, that's ten chaos orbs right there. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Man, imagine if that was armor. They have more armor than they have uh, weapons. That would have been amazing. I don't know if that's a modifier that exists. Okay. Another exile. How many exiles do we get? Apparently a few. I was only expecting like two or three, and that's four already. We've only gone through a little bit of the map. Did we just been lucky getting them immediately? Or do we actually just have a lot? I guess I'll have to make sure I go through the entire map because I don't want to miss... Wait. Wait. Okay, there it is. I saw the uh, the green arrows falling. I was like, there's something. Oh! There's a sixth here! Oh, so good! Oh my gosh, I have a 28 chaos already! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. There's a, there's a seventh! 31 chaos. Yeah, I think this this is like the the worst ver or like the weaker version of that that uh, money making strategy that people had been doing. Eight. I think they were doing like divine converted into something with exiles or um, something. What am I trying to say? Like. Armor converted into divine orbs or something. I don't know for sure though. I wasn't aware of the ex not I don't know if it's an exploit or if it's just uh smart play, but Oh eight there. Okay, that's amazing. I wasn't aware of it till after was what I was trying to say. Oh this is oh this is so sexy. It's so much fucking money. Oh, I didn't... I should have done that, but... Move Ren over... Guff is fine. Where's Jorgen? I don't care if those swap. Yeah, I'm at 48 Chaos now. Oh, so good. Double damage plus du chance at double damage. Is that viable? Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Tava's Thirst and... Versus Battering Rams. I like to be able to name them before I unveil them, just because, I don't know, it makes me feel cool. <laughs> Because I like showing off. 
like showing off the ridiculous amount of time I've spent in this game. Oh, another exile. Six more. Oh, so good. So remember, armor or weapons converted to chaos or to exalt or whatever, and the rogue exiles all flame. Very good together. Very sexy. Uh, did I already do... Yeah, I did the full syndicate, so the lab's empty. I haven't done the boss yet. Oh. I could. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing if I could get uh, the strong boxes to create exiles too. Though I don't know if that's how it works. Oh, I wonder if it, like it might just be the naturally spawning exiles. Okay, gotta make sure that I'm not missing anything because the exiles do wander a little bit sometimes. Whoa. Wait a minute, over there. Oh, another one? Yes, another one. Oh, that's so good. No max cells around in here? No, okay. That's the boss. Nope. No splody. Yeah, we got just about everything, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. I don't want to miss a single exile. That would suck. Not that I would know. 61 chaos. I don't think we got any. I don't think we got any of this from just random drops. Like, I'm pretty sure that every bit we have here is purely from the exiles dropping it. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that this is all from Exiles. Wow, that's that's ridiculous. 61 chaos in raw chaos from one map is insane. Okay, uh, next is Pit. Anything else fun? Up on our Converge Jewelers. Okay. All of this kind of sucks. What's the most dangerous one here? Probably the Blackguards. So I'll give the Blackguards shock, seeing as I can't be shocked. Give the rumbling masses extra fire damage because they're slow and attack speed would make them faster. That because they're melee skeletons are slow and damage on chart. Hmm. hmm. I think I'm going to go with that. Oh my gosh, my 8 passive wand attack is actually selling. Yeah, that must be because of the Sacred Wisps. It's like, that would not have sold last league. Any, any 8 passive, like, any wand to anything would just not sell for clusters. Okay. 
Alright. No more. No more corrupted blood. No more of that. Wow. I'm getting a lot of June, I have to say. It feels like every map. I guess if you specialize it into her, that's it's just that much bigger a deal now. Since you can't, like, pick up the thing, you have to say, like, hey, this is something I want via selecting stuff on the Atlas Passive Tree. So what was that? Syndicate, oh, Syndicate Research has dropped Scarabs. Interesting. That'd be worth it for something as high quant. Wait, the transport's active? Where's the transport active already? Did I, did I miss something? I must have missed something. No. That's bad. Harvest Scarab of Doubling. That sounds valuable. Eh. No. Stop corrupting my blood. Very rude. Oh. Don't really need another brutal shrine. Frenzy boots, right? I don't know, it's a gold rim. Or gold, not gold rim. I keep saying that, gold worm. The knockback is both annoying and interesting. Not sure which, whether I like having knockback or not. I mean, I am getting extra damage at least, but... I don't think I like the knockback because it causes issues with keeping things in the area where I'm attacking them. Or I'm trying to attack them at least. Stop it, Hillock. Stop it. Definitely gonna hit 88 soon. Don't don't lock me in a cage also, please. I don't want one of those. Oh my gosh, did I get to the boss arena without getting locked in a cage? Awesome. That's good. Though Pit might not do that. It might be a different one that does that. But usually, like, the Pit-style ones lock you in a, an area and you have to do a wave defense, and I hate that. Because the wave defense spawns at the, the rate that they want to spawn it at. Not, that, not at the rate that you want to kill them at. Increase XP. Wait. Oh, I do have an Untainted Devourer's one. Okay. That swap with Devourer's. Still doesn't increase pack size even if the modifier tier is lower.
This one has the most. Put evasion on goats. Seeing as I use spells, not attacks. Okay, time to blow things up in the widest open map we have. And I remember when, like, I started seriously for the first time playing this game. It was in Legion, specifically. Because I had played the game before that point, but not very seriously or for very long. Like, I only got, like, partway through Act 2. And then I didn't pick it up for, like, two or three years. And then, for whatever reason, I ended up picking it up again. And I started during Legion, and I had a friend who was, like, quite good at the game. And I remember him showing me uh, his farming strategy for Legion monoliths in uh, Glacier. It's like, there was a monolith in every map, because of course there was. It was, it was Legion League. I wonder if I can capture the Devourers in a blood-filled vessel. And them still have the same XP bonus. Not that I have any blood-filled vessels right now. Can I? No. I was hoping to hide behind a rock, but I don't have any rocks for that. Die, 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 die. Thank you. The cold dots from the spinning ice beams are really bad. I've never had a build that is, like, especially resistant to them. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm a little bit more resistant now. Now that I have packed with energy. Or now that I have sulfide intoxication, I should say. Because that gives me 1% more. Maximum resistances. Ow. 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 Thank you. Looks like Nico is mining the ritual. No, no, get off the desecrated ground. Um, what do I not have? So I only have three more points left in the bit. Oh, right, right, that's what I'm doing. I need, uh, I'm going for a Doomcast. Okay, so yeah, so when I hit level 90, I'll finish Doomcast. Ah, uh, the winning dress, we get that back again after accidentally... Accidentally fucking that mission up. Oops. My skeleton, my seven skeletons of mages did level up to 19, which means I might be able to sell it already. Sometimes I'll sell things at like 19 because, I mean, most people will buy stuff at 19 instead of 20. Unless they're trying to flip it for currency. Yeah. To vacant, no, he already has ranks. Give Coral a rank. Uh, Jorgen, sure. I'd like you to. Also, I believe we have a safe house. Holy shit, 127 life. <laughs> wow. Uh, hmm. I don't know what the hell to put on this. Uh, 
I don't know if focus can go on the left click these days. Like, I know you can put things on left click, but I don't know if, if focus works for that. You know what? I'm probably going to... if They probably would benefit the most from AoE gems, because then you can put your auras in your helmet. And that would probably be for the best. Hmm. Don't think that's valuable. Okay, this should give you focus when you equip it. Did that give me focus? Yes, it did, and it can't be used on left click. Okay. Well, that answers my initial question. The focus has to be something that you hit as, like, a separate thing. That makes it less valuable. Unless there's a way to automate it. If there's a way to automate it, then that's, that's different, but... I don't know. I mean, if you have a belt with a gem socket in it, and that gem is automate, it might be able to support focus, but I don't know if that's how that works. I'm just barely outside the beam now. No, I'm still getting hit. That's so annoying. I hate, I hate that, that particular ritual the most of all of them. Yum. Yum. And Earthbreaker, whatever his name is. Oh, the Breaker. Three and rest. He only can jump three times where he has to rest. That is when you swoop in and kill him. Oh, I didn't do this. This one. I realized I didn't do that alter. Oh, well, I have a wall this time, so that's much nicer. I'm just barely out of range of it. And... I mean, I could use Orbs of Horizon. Oh, it's a Domination Scarab. I haven't seen those yet. I think those are a couple C. I'll, I mean, I'll take it because that's useful. Using uh, Jewelers, sure. Oh no, I'm out of Portal Scrolls! Oh no. That's a weird feeling. You can't tell me that there's no portal scrolls on the ground. Okay. There's six. No oh, alterations. Oh, more devours. Miss some. Okay, that'll be good. Put that away, because that's probably going to be worth something. Ideally, I want to price check as little as possible on stream. I'll always do that later. Okay. 
So, still do tens. I need something that's not... Okay, grotto's good. I can do grotto. Or do that, I should pick something. Mm. Stream archaeology seems both useful and terrifying because if, as soon as I hit something that says immunity to fire damage, I'm I'm just done. I don't know why they decided to put immunity as an option for remnants. Like that's that's so stupid. Cause like okay. If you want to do something, like, cruel and put, like, a 90% damage reduction to fire, okay, you know what? I wouldn't even be upset by that, like, nearly as much as immunity. Immunity? That's not okay. <laughs> Just, like, making things that are literally unkillable for you, like, there's, you have no way to do that, that's not acceptable. That's so annoying. I do want to try our extreme archaeology, though. Though I do have lots of syndicate stuff over here to go for too. I'll I'll, I'll head towards the syndicate stuff because I know I want that. Also, oh my life went up a fair bit. Why did my life go up? Oh, because I leveled up. Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, and we have a research safe house now. Go do that. We're at seven percent XP. Hundred percent increased XP gain. I do kind of like that when you have a build that you know is tanky, you can kind of just like let your eyes unfocus, and when you see when something moves, you just know to shoot towards it. And you don't even have to like focus on anything because your your build just seeks everything out. It's like fishing with hand grenades. You just kind of need to know where the fish is. You don't really need to know exactly. And if you don't throw very well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> the fish will the fish will meet your hand grenade one way or another. Though, not that there's like a point to fishing with hand grenades, but you know. That reminds me, I used to have a teacher that would that would always be like, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And while it is kind of funny to think about, what she actually meant is that if you're not perfect, it's not acceptable. Which is not a cool thing for a grade school teacher to be telling children. But if you think of it just as blowing up a fish with a hand grenade, then it is a bit funnier. That wasn't supposed to be like trauma dummy, that was just supposed to be like, I remembered something, but I guess not exactly the nicest thing. Almost through. You're pretty good for XP.
Okay, that's everything. Well, it's 15% XP. That's really good at level 88. From a level... Or tier 10. I will not be getting that sort of XP for much longer, that's for sure. And don't you dare consecrate path me. Mastermind XP. There's no real point pick opening chests here. I do it sometimes reflexively, but there really is no point considering that the, you don't even have, like, a quant or a rarity modifier on this place, seeing as it's just, just XP gain. Ooh. Got a coinage is worth 5c apiece. Astragali is worth, like, what? One? No, it's worth half of one. Oh, we got an extra 5% bonus from the bosses, so that's 20% of a level. Pretty good. Mm. Not bad, 17%. The amount recovered doesn't matter. That's not what you use a writhing jar for. Should I sell my coinage? Should I sell my coinage? I should probably sell my coinage. It'll be worth it. I don't intend to roll on Gwen very often. I think Gwen is coinage. Because yeah, I think Tusion is the dice, the Astragali. Okay, I'll figure it out. Fusion is... Coinage, okay. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Oh, I have so much grand and a little bit of exceptional, and I can't use either of those. Well, I still have a bunch of shit to use before I need to use a coinage anyways, so... Here, Gwen, give me some new stuff. Uh, what can I get? Uh, side Helm, Archon Kite Shield. That's good. Other Bell, Topaz. Oh, no. Looking for specific names. Royal Skeen is Heartbreaker. These are going to be uniques. Dagger. Happy Belt can be Headhunter. I don't have them all memorized, but I know some of them. And the chest plates can just be six links. Which makes them good, but otherwise. I don't think I got anything from that. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I don't really have high expectations for what Gwen sells, really. Demon Dagger. I don't remember what Demon Dagger is, but I think it can be used for something. Or I think it can come out as something, if I'm lucky, but I was not. Hmm. Zealot's Helmet. Certain ones, I'm like, I feel like that's something, but I can't remember. 
Exactly. Well, that's basically all of the shit I had anyways, so... Nope. Oh wait, I should check Rog, actually. Or Rog? No, not Rog, but I should check Rog anyways. Forge number of sockets, upgrade. Raw modifier values. They're not really good enough to wor worry about rerolling. Roll values for suffixes, sure, whatever. Remove all suffixes. They're not good suffixes. Roll prefixes six times. No, I mean, that's not good at all. I was just trying to make something with uh, him, like, way early on. I have a bunch of lessers, but I don't have any great artifacts. And the chance of actually finding something that is even remotely decent here is pretty low. It's all just, like, random... Just random shit. That's not bad. Mm, I don't really want to reroll the suffixes. I kind of like those. Skip. Remove suffix modifiers. No, I'm not doing that. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not bad. Effectively, 107 strength. Bit of a yes. Nah, not really worth much. That's fair. How much are shields with chaos res? Actually, these are worth a little bit. Grade the level 2 modifiers by 1 tier, sure. Go prefixes. They're the right prefixes, they're just not good tiers. Fill empty modifier slots. Yeah, I'll leave that for later. Uh, anyways, the one I was look going to look for was Danig. Oh, I have nothing for him, okay. I was going to try to convert some stuff. Well, that's not going to work. This might be worth 4C. Eh. Put it for 2. Eh. Okay. So we've been going about two and a half hours. We are going to take a quick break. I'm thinking, good chance to get up, stretch, I don't know, whatever you do. Oh, get water, my water's empty. Oh. Okay. I will be back with y'all in a few minutes, and afterwards we can start pushing our map tiers a bit more. Yeah. Herb. Hello, hello everyone, and we're back. Got some water. Ready to go. We should go and clear out our inventory of high school tracks, because they're good money. I mean, I have 14,000 rogues markers, and almost all of those are from high school tracks. And we're sitting at about 500 markers to a Chaos. So that's at least 28 Chaos right there. If I were to sell it. Of course, I'm going to turn it into Blueprints. Blueprint reveals, and that will be worth way more, but...
to Karst. Okay, Karst we're doing first, because he has an item. Else? Okay. Yep, Karst first. There we go. Okay, so we have map fragments and jewelry, so only thing we need is map fragments. Okay, and we... I'm going to swap quickly to a lower filter, lower level filter, just so that we can make sure that high gear is actually dropping for us. I find that high gear gets blocked by a lot of upper level filters, and that's really frustrating. Everything's up for like the really high quality high gear, and I want things besides the high quality car uh, high gear. I'm not always going to be doing tier 16 uh, stuff. Convenient ventilation system. That's funny. Heist is good humor. It always has. I've loved the uh, characters of Heist the most of like any NPC we've encountered through leagues. I mean, the fact that you get that we got like ten different ones. Twelve, twelve different characters. Because there's the nine rogues and. There's Faust's Defense. Um, what's the name of the uh, the blueprint reveal guy? I forget his name. And we have... Uh, oh, we also have Audia, and we have the uh, leader. Audia being the fire mage that opens the portals. They all they they really crafted the personality as well for all of them, and I love that. I think because I also like the gameplay too, it made Heist kind of like the perfect league for me, and it still continues to be kind of like the perfect league for me, even though it's been changed so much over time. Zoom. Did I pick up much? Picked up a little bit. If I'm going to in a moment, doing things. Mm. Talina this. I can't believe we got 61C. Like, raw chaos from one map. That is so ridiculous. That, uh... Armor or weapons as chaos orbs is amazing with rogue exiles.
Fine, I'll wait for you. Lasers hurt, I think. Yeah, they hurt. They're either true damage or chaos damage because they go through your energy shield. They're probably like true damage because chaos damage would just be ignored by anyone who's um chaos inoculated. That's the term. I just could not think of it. Okay, let's hopefully not die this time. Gimme. Man. Agility is the one that you really want to have as much as much speed on as possible. Wait, that's not even the area I'm supposed to be going to. That's just a random room. Gosh darn it. There we go. Now I'm going the right way. No, that's still the wrong way. Didn't stop being the wrong way. There we go. Is she level 2 agility now? I don't think I've done any agility yet. Level 3, okay, good. Actually, that means that I can plop the uh, Foxhide Soul on her. Which is good, because that gives her an extra 23... 31% agility speed. We got this last time. Very nice. Actually, what's the lore behind Mervale's... Oh. Okay, no, I, I've... I closed the dialogue and now I will never see it again. Okay. I was wondering what the lore behind Mervale's dress was. Uh, hmm. Be nice to get Vendiri up to three. I think Trap Disarmament three is his max, and then Isla's the uh the level five for Trap Disarmament. Every every category has a level 5. Like, someone who can get to 5, and no one else can, except for them. Talisman, talisman... Oh, wow, this is trash. Okay. Whatever. Well, just it is. Ooh, regal orbs. And blessed. We do need more blessed. Eh. Pick up! Thank you. Oh! We didn't get charged for that one. Uh, alert level wise. That's nice. I think it's all, I think we only have like a 2% chance on avoiding the alert level going up. So that's actually really really good and lucky. It's really lucky. Okay. There we go. I guess this is the storyline that leads to fighting Ar Admiral Darna. Okay, let's get gems. Cool. I'm going the wrong way. Again. Okay. 
Okay, I think I know how to go there now to the end. I'm scared of bribing. Answer was as if you completed two extra rounds and increased XP gain. Cool. I feel like that's the, the first time you've been able to add increased XP to be gained to a League mechanic. That's a pretty big deal. At least it feels like a pretty big deal to me. Because, like Breachstones, it's another way that you can control what you get. Or control um, going to a place that has a lot of spawns and good, uh, good XP gain. There we go. There is up three now. Nine, nine eleven, twenty one, thirty. Oh, there's no, no clean way to get to forty from that. They want. Alright, we'll we can do the last one later. Let's go get some more more contracts piled up. So we need to do at least 10 if we want to get Ichors. Do I have any Ichors? Yeah, I do have one Ichor saved up. Oop. And your enemy is on hit with spells. I mean, that's not bad. Better than nothing. Okay, we are not doing pit again. I hate pit. Underground C, good. Oh yes, all damage getting night. Wonderful. Does not affect me. Wait. Oh, there's already Grotto in here. You missed that. Okay, drop additional jewelers. Armor dropped as or fusing projectiles. The shaggy monstrosities don't have projectiles, so I give them something. Uh, who do I not care about? Those. Increase pack size on that. I could uh, swap that for something else that has. Good pack size. What does this look like? Pack density. Does it inherit. So wait, it inherits the pack density? But still stays very low, or does it. This is high pack density. Oh yeah, inherit the pack density. Okay, I have to be careful of that then. I feel like things like the sulfite one are good to block terrible creatures. It's definitely creatures that I do not want to fight.
There we go. Reliquary Scarab. Oh, wait. We are out of heist, so we're going back to our old loot filter. See less things. Ooh, let's let's take out the beasts and stuff before I piss off the syndicate people. Renar? You you get him? Oh. Or syndicate people. Hillock. Ah yes, Hillock. Wait, what's attacking me? Is there a degen ground? I think it was degen ground. Uh sure. Good currency. My first red map! Awesome. Oh. A bit careful. Okay, this is moving down a hallway I have not cleared, which is not ideal. Okay, now we're fine. I was worried for nothing. Okay, now you're fine over there. No. There we go. Going back to what I was saying before during the map where I was having rogue exiles arm or weapons con convert into chaos orbs, I wonder if. I'm still wondering if the uh, Strongbox Exiles or the Atlas Exiles would uh, be converted, w would still count towards that. The Atlas Exiles probably, which I imagine is how they did that currency farming strategy. Or maybe it was... I don't actually know how the currency farming strategy worked that had to be nerfed, like panic nerfed, but... I imagine something like that. Okay. Please. Yeah, okay, good. Good curse. Giannis. Uh, no, I want you to stay there, because you're giving me Kalgarin currency. That is ideal. Now Rion's veiled. Ooh. Uh, oh. Damn it, I was hoping for the non-channeling skills one. It's these guys that drop the fusings, currently. Say these guys, but I kill things so fast that it's very hard to tell what I'm talking about. Okay, let's back up a bit. It feels weird calling the goats beasts, because they seem, I mean, they're, they're sentient enough that, like, conscious enough that they're able to use magic, 
which makes them feel like a bit more than just monsters. Feels unfair to just call them beasts and lock them up. Okay, basic currency dev cards. Yes, please. Give me all the basic currency dev cards. Give me a divine beauty. That would be really nice. Or a saint's treasure. Or any of the other div ones. I don't remember what they are. I mean, Civ, I mean saint's treasure is only exalt, but... Oh, good. I remember when Saint's Trouble... Saint's Trouble? When Saint's Treasure was valuable. Oh my god, I'm... I'm just I'm getting old. <laughs> Back in my day, Saint's... Saint's Treasure was such a valuable card, because... Because... Exalts... I don't know. Ooh, extra vol gem. Extra vol gem. Ah, ball domination. Yep. Okay. I see why that didn't show up. Uh, we can do as actually no, we'll do underground sea first, and then acid caverns. We want to make sure that we're doing the uh, minimum level for the stuff. Whoa! 11 to 47 monsters increased quant. Wow. Act density high. Okay, I should do something with that. That's not monkeys. Women's... Bunches of Chiyula. Hmm. I hope I can still reopen the lantern. I might still reopen the lantern if I just hit activate. Yeah. That's high density. Uh hmm. Hmm. That's five to eleven. That's pretty high pack size to begin with. Yeah, it's twelve to thirty. Ooh, that's really nice. This one is more pack size and more modifier. I should make use of that one too. 1 to 7, 8 to 10. I can do the... Ooh, 21 to 27. Nice. 
uses puncture, uses sweep. So it's melee. I don't have any... I don't have any caster mods to give it. Uh... Hmm. That's actually, actually that's only melee skeletons. So I'll put it there. I just need to avoid getting hit by the melee skeletons. Let's save her. So I'm gonna be looking for syndicate people and for breach minions. Those are going to be the ones that'll be giving me the special stuff. Okay, well, those are breach minions. Yeah, I think I just need to full clear this map. Make sure I'm getting everything. Those are syndicate ones. Only contains support gems. Ooh. Lots of scarabs. Uh, who are you? Oh, it's Haku. Haku, I need you to stop Hakuing. Whatever. I don't want to get myself killed, but I also want to make use of the delirium where I can. Need to keep moving or it'll run out. What I'm worried about. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Yeah, it's done. I'll have to go back for some of that stuff. Oh, I didn't question Haku, so I can't fight the other encounters. Oh. Yay, I can do the uh, X-Art stuff now. And Chiula Breach Stones are going to be a little bit more reasonable this league if these types of embers are dropping. And they're also not expensive embers. They must be dropping a fair bit. Wait, no, I need to go back and question Haku. I already 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 decided this. <laughs> Being distracted. Okay, here he is. Uh no, I want Strongbox Scarab, so you'll have to... You'll have to wait. Ooh, quality Gems. Nice. I could use Quality I could use that as my, uh... Off. I could use that as a weapon swap. Potentially. Worth anything? Oh, it's actually worth 3C. I assume because other people want to have it for their weapon swap. If I was raising something up like an Enlighten in my alt stuff, then it would matter. I don't think I need to do that with my Enlighten, though. I like just leaving it where it's supposed to be anyways. That works. Ooh. Unique monster area drop an additional unique. Cool. 
Hello, Marvel. I have your wedding dress. And you can't have it back. Technically, I don't have it anymore. Talina has it now, but, you know. I stole your wedding dress from someone else who stole your wedding dress. Aren't you proud of me? Wait. Crafting recipe. Special defenses, rank two. What the hell are special defenses? Evasion, energy shield, and armor are all defenses, not special defenses, so... I don't know... Ward? I can't imagine what it is. So many Chiela Splinters. Up to ten. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is pretty decent for Chiula, specifically. I don't know how much their splinters are right now. Ooh! Abyss Splinter, or Abyss uh, All Flame. To the splinter of the chiller right now, anyways. Fifteen for nine. That's at least eight C for the thirteen. There. Looks like the chiller bridgestones, the basic ones, are only thirty-eight C right now, which I assume is because of this all flame, which is great because that means that it's easier to level in the upper levels, because you can buy lots of Chula Breach Stones and power yourself up that way. I wonder if the... the people in here count towards the... Oh. Being chased by Syndicate person already. I wonder if the uh, Syndicate officers in here are, are count towards the uh, uh, increased Scarabs. Probably not. Oops, I've accidentally killed him. Damn it. Oh, no, there's still another one. I'm kind of hoping to last, have him last a little bit longer, but... Uh... Sure, I don't care about fortification members. I have this... Oh, I wanted it in, in my research. Okay, last syndicate part. Oh, this is it. Ooh, yeah. I'd love you to become trusted with Elrion. I'll be able to see you more then. Endurance charge one. Hold is extra chaos. Sure. Oh. It's all empty. Okay, I think I'm done. It's dead. Oh well, we got a lot of scarabs. I wish there was some way that I could bulk check what these scarabs are worth. But that's usually pretty hard to do. Okay, those are not worth anything. Whenever I see the little wings, I'm always excited, but that's not... That's not an effective way of guessing. Oh, apparently these are like 8 or 9 C a piece. That's pretty nice. Let's see, do I have any more of them? I've already lost where it is. 
No. Which one is this ritual? Which, which one is this fucking ritual? Oh, wait. Your bribing's not worth anything, which is sad. Map duplication? Full 5C. Did it go into this this thing? Am I just blind? Can I not see the red scarab? Well, I'm going crazy. Wait, no, there it is. Okay, I only have one of them. I don't know if you can still upgrade scarabs, if that's a thing or not. I'll have to go through at some point and see what's worth what. Or Tents of Dune. Okay, and we now have the Exarch. Which I can probably do on Tier 10 now. Okay, first 11. Let's see. Yeah, I can do both. Wait, if I check on here... Oh. Oh, there used to be a bunch of extra information here that's not here anymore. Okay. Oh, that's what that is. Huh. Thing is, I have... What's tracking off? Okay, so Syrian XRs can do 9 plus then. Let's do a tier 9, then, for, for our wonderful... ...steering X-Arch. Took me a while to process that. Hmm, increase pack size. Should I put something on that? Probably worth putting something on that. I think I'm okay. I don't want to put anything dangerous on anything. I should use up the lower level, uh, all flames, so that I don't end up in a situation again where I have a bunch of shit that I can't easily use. Oh my gosh, I see why people say gemlings are scary, because they definitely are using being player skills. I've never seen mobs use these skills before. That's interesting. Oh, that's, I mean, it's not just interesting, it's terrifying. Oh, that's a vortex. Recognize what that skill is they're using, though. It looks kind of like Fireball, but it's not. It's like a twin Fireball. Okay. X Arch and Syndicate at the same time is a bit mean. Oh, I thought it was a intervention. No, it's a uh, it's a uh, fortification instead. Hey, get back here! Get back here! Don't you dare run away on me! Head. Over into fortification and it to not fortification. Please do not go to fortification. Okay, intervention. Haku. Always know 
with a giant hammer that is Haku. Giant, annoying hammer. Um, hmm. You know what? I will... I will put him in there and use him to push an intervention safe house out. I don't need anarchy scarabs. Unless that is something that works with that strategy of currency farming, then apparently I need anarchy scarabs, but... And these aren't really dropping gems, despite that being their advertised purpose. I think we have a fair bit of elemental damage reduction. Hello, friend. Who are you? Who are you? Must be a gemling. Unique gemling at that. Scary. I never considered how dangerous the unique gemlings might be. Oh, there you are. Even the unique gem link didn't drop any cool things. No. Stop that. Stop bouncing. No bounce. No. 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 Why are you possessed? Fuck. I was worried about that. At least he died in the process of killing me, so... Ooh, Wildwood Beasts. Nice. Have I done any of the rituals yet? No, I haven't. I've just been walking past them. Okay, I need to do them. What is this? Oh, it's... Yes. I can do bonus EAS. It mildly counters my belt, but I mean, the solution is just more damage, so not that bad. Are we going to get the unique gemlings popping up again inside this? That would be annoying, but it also... I wouldn't be surprised. Now I'm worried. No! I didn't see him! There we go. That is how you make problems go away. These gemlings do not give mu many gems, I have to say. I've yet to see a single gem from the gemlings, and I've killed a bunch of them. That's pretty sad. They're not just being blocked by my loot filter either, I'm checking. They're supposed to drop quality gems specifically. I'm not seeing those. No! Stop that! Okay, there's the first one. No, actually, I got one earlier, so that's two. It's not very good. 
great so far, but... Mostly, I think it's mostly because they're, like, really dangerous that I'm especially concerned about actually getting things from it. Because, like, if they're going to be more dangerous, they should be more rewarding, too. Like, that's that's how difficulty is supposed to work. The harder something is, the more, benef more bonus you get for doing it. Ball orbs. Take my orbs. Oh, I wish I had Nico on this. That's my fourth gem. I really wish I had Sulfite Intoxication, because that would give me an extra 3% damage reduction to elemental stuff. Yeah. Don't like. Meteors, and corpse explosions. Not even once. No! No! Bad. There we go. I've somehow managed to miss the boss. Must be in the northern corner. I did everything else. Actually, that might be where the last... Oh yeah, that is where the last uh, encounter is. No. No. I see you following me. I can just dump th dump mines on top of myself and then move. And then by the time he he'll just jump into the pile of explosions then. That is the seems to be the counterplay to the melee gemling. Oh, no, I see you. I need to clear it around this, actually. There's too much going on. Ow. I don't want you to die outside of the arena. That would suck. And you wouldn't be in the ritual. Please tell me that was inside the ritual and not out. So I still have the laboratory. This last ritual. Okay, there's going to be at least one, I think two gemling uh, enforcers. I don't know what they're actually called. The uh, unique melee gemlings. If I can kill them before they get to me, that'd be ideal. Ah, there you are. No, you're not doing that. I've played this game before. And I've gotten better at it since the first time you killed me. <laughs> oh. Whoa, lag. Big lag spike. And that was on GGG's end, too. Ooh, 10 chaos. Nice. I can't get it yet, but I can... I can grab it. Ooh, that's 4 chaos, too. There's actually a bunch of good things here. This is Wrath. Uh... It's totem life and elemental damage, but his damage of sword is useless. Okay, well, I'm going to grab this, and then I'm going to defer the chaos. Then I guess I'll defer wrath as well. 
No. Instead, I will take Horizons. Okay. Let's go do our June. That doesn't sound right. Let's go do the... Let's go murder some people in an underground laboratory. That sounds much more normal. Who made... Ow. Who made violence more socially acceptable than sex? They were dumbass. I need, oh, it's all the way up there. I'm a lot more sp sparing my portals if I'm using scrolls, I've noticed. For obvious reasons. Whoa, okay, that's a bit much. Okay, there we go. Ooh. How are we on? Oh, yeah, you're not useful at all. 16, 32, 48 research experience, from, or research progress from that would be great. On oh, 28 more, or 22 more. Okay, that's good. I have a lot of... Okay, I'll just bring that outside. Rather than going through all the... Uh, going through all the in the unveiling. I usually like to unveil when I pick something up, just because it gets out of my inventory immediately, and I don't have to bring it back and do something with it. Which is a good strategy, generally, but... I'm already coming back anyways. Ooh, 45% fire res, that's pretty good. That's a 61% fire res ring. That'd be really good for chieftains. I mean, it would be better if it was that, but on a uh, ruby ring, but... Eh. Okay... 18. Ooh, a 20% Reaper. Nice. That's worth a couple C. That's probably because gem cutters are worth a couple C, aren't they? Oh. Gem cutters are like 1.1. Okay, I should probably sell that instead. Or, I should probably trash that. Uh, tectonic slam is probably not worth anything. Oh, it is! Worth for C, okay. Up we go. Boy, malevolence. Yep. Last rain? Assume not. Equate totem. No. And then storm call. Yeah. None of those are valuable, because 31... I had a 10% gem somewhere, didn't I? There you are. I'd rather have a gem cutter, since gem cutters are 1.1 or 1.2 chaos right now, so... Have an extra 0.8 of a chaos for having to sell something is not worth it. How are gems doing? Pretty well, actually. Hmm. They're all leveling quite well. Hmm. 
the difference between level 19 and 20 looks like the difference between 40c and 70. You know what? I'm just going to try it. Easier than leveling it more. Oh, we still have no more embers or ichors. That's unfortunate. That's annoying, but it's not bad. I can do I can deal with that. Okay. Their eater is currently at tier eleven, so this is the right level. Dust or touch by torrent spirits. And it's increased XP with the modifier tier. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that seems fair. Don't see anything there. It's like crazy. Nor anything there that's like specifically interesting. I can get like a good. Increased XP one. I probably have another greatly increased XP ember somewhere. It's weird having embers as in like the searing exarch currency and having embers as in the all flame embers. And also having all flame embers, not the all flame lantern or the all flame all flame from the start of the campaign. got away from me. Oh god, I don't like this. This is getting a bit dicey. I'm moving. Yeah, I sniped the assassins, at least. Uh, Non-damage amulets you inflict are reflected back. Do I chill? I don't think I chill. I chill. Uh, chance of blind... Wait, non-damaging ailments? Reflected... So reflected doesn't mean that... You, you'd think it would mean that they aren't inflicted with it and you are instead. What it actually means is they're inflicted with it and then you're also inflicted with it. Which is an important... Thing because if blind only blinded me and not them, that would decrease my effective evasion rating. Okay, well, I'm immune to ignite and I'm immune to shock, so, and I'm immune to blind, so none of that matters. Okay. Give me more quant. Okay, Grivit Grivitius. Oh, I have a safe house. I forgot about that. Oh, fluff. That's not good. Where's Grivitius? Oh, he's down there. Sure. I should go do that so that I don't have to worry. Wait, company by a general. That's definitely valuable. How is that not valuable? That's half a chaos. How is that half a chaos? That's crazy. Either they're just like really common now or they destroyed uh, five ways. Which would suck because five ways are like the main method of getting XP. Or at least paying for XP. Duplicate basic currency. Yeah, give me like two mirrors, will you?
The day that I get a mayor will be a very interesting day. I'm sure it will happen eventually if I just continue to play this game more and more and more. But, like... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, 5,000 hours, no mirror yet, so... There's no real proof that it's gonna come anytime soon, either. They are pretty... Ah! Uh, nope. Wow, you are tough! Why are you so tough? Wait, now you're not tough. What? Or is just one of you tough? I think just one of you is tough. Okay. Ikazaru. Oh, hello. Oh, you're tough. I killed one of you already. Or was it three of them? Oh, I got a writhing invitation. Nice. <gasps> Pariah! Yes! Oh, prize aren't worth very much. Well, they'll become worth more when I turn it, when I white socket it, so. That is like one of the, uh, one of the things that you can do, like, as a money-making method with Syndicate, is you can buy Pariah Rings, and you can use a Verici to change the socket into a white socket. And for every white socket in the ring, there can only be one white socket, but for every white socket in the ring, you get 15% uh, item quantity, which is a lot, obviously. Not obviously. It, it is a lot, I should say. I hate saying obviously. I need, like I I've tried to remove that from my my vocabulary because it's nothing but demeaning to, to whoever you're talking to. Why do I feel like I'm not hitting very hard? There's something else going on. Well, I don't have the extra little bit of damage from Snowforce, but that's not a big deal. Oh, the more monster life is probably getting me. Plus, more things are... Are magic, which means that there's more things with more resistances, so. You have to research. That's not useful. Ah! Yeah. So close. We are so close to hitting 89. I had to double check. Mm, okay, there's an entire section of the map I haven't touched. Let's see. A lot of sparks. Glad I have decent lightning resistance. <laughs> that would suck. Well, 
Can I level in this map? Maybe? Hmm. That might be... Oh, got it! Yes! Cool. And I don't care what the blight. 89. Okay. All crit. And now... I'm gonna grab the crit chance from there. And I'm going to grab Doomcast. I can add that as my level 90. Good as a ski Kazaru. Not amazing. Okay, so what? How's my Kikazar here? Better. Cool. Leveling shit. Okay, so that will be for when I get Verici over to research someday. So, two things. We're not going to push the safe house yet because. I want to do the writhing invitation first. This is for the uh, the infant hunger. Okay, let me let me display why this is an amazing build. Come on. Nope. That didn't work. Oh, he cleansed my... Ah. Ow. <laughs> okay, I'm not as strong as I hoped I was. <laughs> I mean, I can still kill him. Boop. Ah, uh, nothing. He's a bit scary. I got smushed. Uh, rarity. No, I want additional rank on execution. Way more important. Okay, you know what? Ooh. We've been going for four hours now. I'm thinking that it's just about time that I get off and go food. Try that again. I think it's about time that I end stream and go feed myself because I'm hungry. Wow, we actually got a whole lot done today because we were... I mean, we, I think we got four levels today. We started on 85, didn't we? I think we did. I don't remember. Anyways, we got a lot of levels today. We're almost full build. We got some really crazy drops with getting the uh, Enlighten and the Divine Orb drop. Priya always helps. It's really good. I'm quite happy, that's for sure. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching. A reminder to uh, subscribe to at Black Cat Streams, which is where this video VOD will be going up in the next uh, couple days. Uh, I'll be putting out highlights on at Black Cat Studio. And remember to follow the Twitch channel if you uh, 
are enjoying this because then you can see more live content at 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST, Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you all so much for coming today, and I will see you in a couple days on Thursday.